morning. Aren't you glad to be in the Lord's house this morning? We are going to do some announcements, and then we will jump right into our service this morning. So I want to make you aware of a couple things. One, um, if you are a visitor and don't know where the restroom is, it is actually not in this building. You'll want to go through this door, through the next set of doors, and take a left in the next building. You can't miss the bathrooms once you're there. Uh, next, if you are a visitor, we'd also love you to grab one of these in the front seat pocket in front of you. Hopefully there is one. If there's not, yell at somebody across the aisle to give you one. Um, but fill this out. This gives us enough information so that we can contact you later, tell you how glad we are you're here, and you know, see if we can reach out or minister to you in some way. Okay, next is going to be announcements. So tomorrow, um, the 9th, if it's not raining, um, the ladies will be meeting at the man's house. If it is raining, they'll be here. Uh, but you'll be going over the next section. I'm not sure which chapters. They weren't quite able to get that to me, but in gentle and lowly. So you can reach out to the ladies on Slack, I'm sure, and find out what specific chapters. But, yep. Um, the men are meeting this Saturday, the 14th of November, and we'll be looking at gentle and lowly chapter 4. So be prepared to, to meet us 8 in the morning on Slack. We'll provide that link. And then, calling all ladies, youth through young and heart, to join the other ladies of the Mount for a fireside chat. This will just be a time to get together and do what we do best, chat, laugh, encourage, and pray. And that is Friday, November the 20th, from 7 to 9 p.m. Okay? So that's from the man's. So. Um, now it's time for our call to worship. I'm going to invite Jan up to read from Romans 5. No? Galatians. Did I say the wrong? Revelation 5. Right. Yes, you're right. You're right. Very different chapters. <laughs> Take this off and put these on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Revelation 5. Then I saw in the right hand of him who was seated on the throne a scroll written within and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? No one in heaven, on earth, or under the earth was able to open the scroll and to look into it. And I began to weep loudly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. And one of the elders said to me, Weep no more. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. And between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders, I saw a lamb standing as though it had been slain with seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he went and he took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and open its seals, for you were slain. And by your blood, you ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made them a kingdom and priest to our God, and they shall reign on the earth. And then I looked and I heard around the throne, the living creatures and the elders, the voice of many angels, numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne, to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshiped. That worship in heaven is going on today, and we've been invited to join and be a part of that. So with that on our hearts and minds, let's stand and sing praise to this glorious God who is worthy. Build your kingdom here. 